Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. Yeah, I know. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Oh my gosh, I've been busy. I'm, that wasn't the way I planned the year. The year was I was going to do a bunch of videos, get a bunch of stuff out to you guys, and it's just been, been a little crazy. Um, so today's Tuesday Tip, what I want to talk about is Trimble Access. So as you guys know, the new Access came out, the 2023 and it's got the background map. It's got some other features in there as well, but I think the background map has really overshadowed all the other features that came out with it. So, what I want to talk to you about is how to get Trimble Access onto your data collector. So I saw a post, a, a field book post the other day, a Facebook field crew post, something like that. Anyways, um, a guy was asking a question about... Um, how to get 2023 access on this data collector because when he when he went to do the installation manager it, it didn't give him 2023 as an option so he was like what do i do and i was like you know what a lot of you guys don't really understand how this warranty thing works and i thought this might be a good opportunity for me to show you guys kind of what's going on with, with trimble's warranties and how all that stuff actually works in the background so there are things with the warranties that you get that you can't buy. Background maps is one of them. There's some other cool stuff that's going to be coming out before too long that I can't tell you about that um, you're going to want to keep your warranties up for that as well. So keeping your warranties up keeps you access to these things, to like the background maps and, and like the, uh, uh, the synchronization stuff that Trimble has in their data collector and things like that. You have to keep your warranties up so there's, there's a couple ways to do that. One is every year you pay your warranties. What are your warranties? If you pay your software warranties every year, now keep this in mind, the software warranty, this is not Civil 3D where you're renting the software. When you buy a perpetual license of Trimble Access, you own it. If you bought your warranty only went up to 2020, then you can't go any further. You can't load a new version without paying your warranties. So what your warranties are doing is that's giving you access to the latest version of Trimble Access and it's giving you the ability to use like the sync or the background maps or some other cool features that's going to be coming out, right? So um, let's look at software Trimble Access 12-month expiration. So what the 12-month expiration means is that your warranty is for 12 months. So the software maintenance is for 12 months. So let's say you bought it January 1, come December the 31st, your warranty's fixed to come due, right? So January 1 again, your, your warranty's due. You've got maybe a 30 day grace period. I can't remember exactly. Let's say you don't have any grace period, right? Let's not, let's not push our luck. So let's um, let's look at it like this. So it's 595 bucks. It's gone up over the past few years. Um, so it's we're gonna say $600, right? So it's $600 for the year to get you the warranties. So $600 a year, like I said, it's gonna get you um, the latest version of Trimble Access, which they're always enhancing. Um, it's gonna keep you your sync working. It's gonna keep you keep keep you using the background maps and things like that because that's all tied back to your warranties. So $600 a year is what your warranties cost. Okay, let's say you go past that 12 months. Let's say that you go 13 months, 14 months or something like that. Once you get into, you only can go so far past your warranty and then you um, you end up having to pay a reinstatement fee. Once you go past that grace period, you get out past there, now you've got to pay the reinstatement fee. To me, it's a penalty, but that's what they call it, reinstatement fee. That is $895. So instead of paying $600 within that year, you stretched it out, now you're gonna pay $895, let's say 900 bucks. So it cost you 300 bucks to let that stretch out past that year. Don't go past your grace period. Don't go past the end of the warranty. I'm gonna show you guys where to find this stuff at, okay? So that's 900 bucks is what it's gonna cost you to get a reinstatement, take it for a year. Okay, if you go past that, 
let's say you go a year out of warranty. So let's say that in um, January 2023, you updated your warranties. Now, January 2024, your warranties are out. But you let that ride and you let it go past the reinstatement all the way past that for another year. Well, now you have to pay trouble loyalty. So it's the loyalty program. The loyalty program is now $1,350. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your warranties up to date. I am usually not big on warranties. Used to years ago, I was like, look, you know, don't worry about it unless they come out with something new. The problem is they're coming out with something new all the time now. It's not like it used to be. You really need to keep your warranties up to date. And I know, I know, us surveyors don't make enough money to pay for Civil 3D and, you know, all the warranties and the warranties on the data collector and the warranties on the GPS and the warranties on Adobe and the warranties on Microsoft 365. And I know, I get it, totally. But I'm just telling you, if you want your GPS to work at optimum performance, you really need to keep access up to date. There's a lot of cool tools that you're able to use if you keep it up to date. You don't have to. Once you buy a copy of Trimble Access, it's yours to own from now on. That's a perpetual license. So if you're happy with 2020 and 2020 does everything you want to do and you don't want to go any further, then don't pay your warranties and don't update. It's that simple. Okay? So, recap. We are going... No. Not, not the software recap. We're just going to recap what I just said. Um, so, you keep it inside the 12 months, right? 600 bucks. You let that run out, out of that grace period, it's 900 bucks. You let it go a year out of warranty, now you're in the loyalty program for $1,400. Don't let it get that far. A new copy of Access, let me see here, I'm looking at the price book. A new copy of Access today is $3,415. If you bought just G GNSS, which does not work with the total station, that's $1,840. Do you know that there was two versions of Access? There's a GNSS and then there's the full-blown version. So the full-blown version lets you use the robot, the GPS, whatever you want to use, right? Scanning, whatever. There's no... Um, there, there's nothing there to stop you from using all those tools. If you bought GNSS, let's say you want a rover only, well, you could buy that for $1,840, like maybe put on a TDC 600 with just a rover out working. So there's an idea. Anyways, let's get back to the warranties. So that's your warranties for Trimble Access and how that works. Now then, how do you find the warranties on it? So you go to your data collector, you hit the hamburger button, you know, the three lines up the top, Go down to about. So when you're looking at about, it's going to tell you the version that you're on. It's going to tell you your serial number and it's going to tell you when your software maintenance expires. Mine expires 4-28-2024. So I am good until 2024 on my Trimble Access warranties. So if they come out with a new version, for instance, 2023, I was able to update because I'm inside that warranty period. So what you're doing when you pay that $600 a year, what you're paying for is the new version of Access. You already own the old version. Now you just paid for the new version, okay? So, I know, business center warranties, I know, it's just, man, it's it's tough. Our servers, we don't charge enough. That's a whole nother story for me. Um, all these crazy tools and the expensive tools and everything else, and we're charging pennies for what we do. In my opinion. So, anyways, um, okay, so that's those warranties and how they work. There is something that, man, I have been horrible about telling people because it adds cost to the data collector when you buy it. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, there is something that you guys need to be aware of. Uh, let me go in here to the Trimble TSC7 data collector. If I scroll down on the price book, and I'm not going to show you guys this price book, by the way. Um, it would give me an all kinds of trouble. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about warranty on the data collector. It's a um, Trimble Protected Premium Warranty. This premium warranty, I think, personally, is pretty cool. 
and I've sold it to a few people. Some people get it, some people don't. Now, you saw what I told you what the cost of the warranty is. It's $600 per year for you to keep up the warranties, right? You can buy a five-year warranty that is going to cover your data collectors. Say, for instance, this TSC-7. I'll break this screen on this TSC-7. That's over two grand. I can't I remember, like $2,500, $2,700. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's expensive. So if you have the Trimble Protected Premium Warranty, and you can only get this when you buy the data collector, and I think you only have a window of like 30 days, maybe, from the time you purchase it. Um, so with this thing, what it does is it protects your data collector. You drop it and break it. You tear up the keyboard. You, um, you destroy it as long as, I mean, if I run over this with a pickup truck, let's say, and I break it half in two, it's still covered under warranty. Now how the warranty works is if it's totally destroyed and it's got to be replaced, they will replace the data collector. You just have to buy the warranty again. So let's say I destroyed this data collector. The price tag with the radio module on it is $3,195. So for $3,195, I can replace the whole data collector. So I run it over and break it. That data collector is over five grand by itself without the $2,000 radio on it, right? So um, I think that's a pretty good deal. If you don't have a radio, uh, looks like it is $2,750. So, um, let's see. So, the, the $3,195 one, oh, I'm sorry, I told, right, let's see. Trimble Protective Premium, TSC5, TSC7, GNSS Radio Module, 5 years, 12 months expiry, $1,725. Okay, that one doesn't cover Trimble Access. Okay, let's talk about the one that covers Trimble Access since I'm talking about warranties. Okay, so the Trimble Protected TSC5, TSC7, T100, T10, or, or T10X, or T7 plus GNSS radio module, Trimble Access, five years. You also get Trimble Access for five years. So, let's do the math. I already know what the number is, but we're going to look it up anyways. I'm going to go to my calculator and I'm going to put in $600 times five is a whopping three grand. Three grand. I don't know if that's actually going to focus or not. Will I focus on that? Three grand. Okay. So $3,000 for five years if you pay your access warranties. This is $3,195. So for $200 more, you're also covering the price of the data collector and your radio module. But that adds $3,200 to the price of the data collector at time of purchase. If you're financing it, I don't think it would make that big a difference. But warranties are huge. Warranties, like I said, will keep you in the latest and greatest version. That goes for Business Center, goes for Access, whatever, right? Those warranties, you own the software. The software is yours. Nobody's taking it away from you. It doesn't time out unless you bought the subscription. If you buy the perpetual license, it's yours for the life of the data collector, right? Or And actually, I can, if I keep my warranties up to date, let's say I have a TSC3 back in the day, and I kept my warranties up to date and I bought a TSC-7, I can transfer the license from the TSC to the TSC-7 provided my warranties are up to date. I just told you the cost of that software was creeping up towards four grand, right? So that saves you $4,000 right there. So, okay. Look at your data collector. Make sure where your warranty's at. Keep your warranties up to date you can have access to the new uh, features that come out, um, have access to the access features. Almost sounds fun, doesn't it? But anyways, you can have access to access if you keep your warranties up to date. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that for everybody, just let you know that there, um, that you, um, 
you need to keep your warranties up to date if you want the new features. But I didn't want you freaking out thinking that if you don't keep your warranties up to date, access is going to quit because it doesn't. That it's, it's yours. Perpetual. That 2020 copy is yours. You paid $600 for 2023 and it's yours. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that and let you know I have got a full day ahead of me. I have got a ton of stuff I got to do, include go to Birmingham and demo a scanner. And that's a five hour drive for me to get up here to Birmingham. So, and I've got a ton of stuff I got to do in the meantime. So um anyways guys i i hope this helps uh i hope this helps you understand if you have any questions just hit me up you know on uh facebook linkedin whatever uh instagram um i'm all over the place right so just hit me up if you got any questions and um and i hope you guys have a great day i'm gonna have a busy one but i hope you have a great day god bless you guys stay safe out there and i will see you guys in the next video and, oh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm I'm going to Trimble Dimensions in November, and I'm actually going to be teaching some classes. But that's going to be something, another video that I'm going to tell you guys about. So, like and subscribe. I want to have 20,000 subscribers by the time I go in November to, um, to Trimble Dimensions. I know, I need to put some videos up. That's going to happen. But anyways, you guys, God bless. See you guys next video.